The Mohicans are an Eastern Algonquian Native American tribe that historically spoke an Algonquian language. As part of the Eastern Algonquian family of tribes, they are related to the neighboring Lenape, whose indigenous territory was to the south as far as the Atlantic coast. The Mohican lived in the upper tidal Hudson River Valley, including the confluence of the Mohawk River, where present-day Albany, New York developed, and into western New England centered on the upper Housatonic River watershed. After 1680, due to conflicts with the powerful Mohawk to the west during the Beaver Wars, many were driven southeastward across the present-day Massachusetts western border and the Taconic Mountains to Berkshire County around Stockbridge, Massachusetts. They combined with Lenape Native Americans, a branch known as the Munsee, in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, and later the people moved west away from pressure of European invasion. They settled in what became Shawano County, Wisconsin. Most Eastern Native American populations were forced to reservations in Indian Territory during the 1830s and other reservations in the American West later. Decades later, the United States government organized the Stockbridge Muncie community with registered members of the Muncie people and a 22,000 acre, 89 square kilometers reservation which was originally the land of the Menominee Nation. Following the disruption of the American Revolutionary War, most of the Mohican descendants first migrated westward to join the Iroquois Oneida on their reservation in central New York. The Oneida gave them about 22,000 acres for their use. After more than two decades, in the 1820s and 1830s, the Oneida and the Stockbridge moved again pressured to sell their lands and relocate to northeastern Wisconsin under the Federal Indian Removal Act. A group of Mohican also migrated to Ontario, Canada to live with the predominantly Iroquois Six Nations of the Grand River Reserve. The tribe identified by the place where they lived, Muhekaniu, or people of the continually flowing waters. According to Daniel G. Brinton and James Hammond Trumbull, two well-known authorities on Mohican history, the word Muhakan refers to a body of water that flows in both directions, being tidal to most of its Mohican range. So they named the Hudson River Mahikanuk, or the river with waters that are never still. Therefore, they, along with other tribes living along the Hudson River, such as the Munsee to their west, known by the dialect of Lenape that they spoke, and Wappinger to the south, were called the River Indians by the Dutch and English. The Dutch heard and transliterated the term for the people of the Aroa in their own language, variously as Mahigan, Mahinganak, Maikan, among other variants, which the English later expressed as Mohican, in a transliteration to their own spelling system. The French, adopting names used by their Indian allies in Canada, knew the Mohican as the Loops, or Wolves. They referred to the Iroquois Confederacy as the Snake People, as they were called by some competitors, or five nations representing their original tribes. Like the Moonsee and Wappinger peoples, the Mohican were Algonquian speaking, part of a large language family related also to the Lenape people, who occupied coastal areas from western Long Island to the Delaware River Valley to the south. In the late 20th century, the Mohican joined other former New York tribes, including the Onida and some other Iroquois nations, in filing land claims against New York for what were considered unconstitutional purchases of their lands after the Revolutionary War. Only the federal government had constitutional authority to deal with the Indian nations. In 2010, outgoing Governor David Patterson announced a land exchange with the Stockbridge Muncie that would enable them to build a large casino on 330 acres, 130 HA, in Sullivan County in the Catskills, as a settlement in exchange for dropping their larger claim in Madison County. The deal had many opponents. The Algonquians, Mohican and Iroquois, Mohawk, were traditional competitors and enemies. Iroquois oral tradition, as recorded in the Jesuit relations, speaks of a war between the Mohawks and an alliance of the Susquehannock and Algonquin, sometime between 1580 and 1600. This was perhaps in response to the formation of the League of the Iroquois. In September 1609, Henry Hudson encountered Mohican villages just below present-day Albany, with whom he traded goods for furs. Hudson returned to Holland with a cargo of valuable furs, which immediately attracted Dutch merchants to the area. The first Dutch fur traders arrived on the Hudson River the following year to trade with the Mohicans. 
Besides exposing them to European epidemics, the fur trade destabilized the region. In 1614, the Dutch decided to establish a permanent trading post on Castle Island, on the site of a previous French post that had been long abandoned. But first they had to arrange a truce to end fighting which had broken out between the Mohicans and Mohawks. Fighting broke out again between the Mohicans and Mohawks in 1617, and with Fort Nassau badly damaged by a freshet, the Dutch abandoned the fort. In 1618, having once again negotiated a truce, the Dutch rebuilt Fort Nassau on higher ground. Late that year, Fort Nassau was destroyed by flooding and abandoned for good. In 1624, Captain Cornelius Jacobson May sailed the New Nederland upriver and landed 18 families of Walloons on a plain opposite Castle Island. They commenced to construct Fort Orange. The Mohicans invited the Algonquin and Montagnier to bring their furs to Fort Orange as an alternative to French traders in Quebec. Seeing the Mohicans extend their control over the fur trade, the Mohawk attacked with initial success. In 1625 or 1626, the Mohicans destroyed the easternmost Iroquois castle. The Mohawks then relocated south of the Mohawk River, closer to Fort Orange. In July 1626, many of the settlers moved to New Amsterdam because of the conflict. The Mohicans requested help from the Dutch and Commander Daniel van Kriekebeck set out from the fort with six soldiers. Van Kriekebeck, three soldiers, and 24 Mohicans were killed when their party was ambushed by the Mohawk about a mile from the fort. The Mohawks withdrew with some body parts of those slain for later consumption as a demonstration of supremacy. War continued to rage between the Mohicans and Mohawks throughout the area from Schenectady to Kinderhook. By 1629, the Mohawks had taken over territories on the west bank of the Hudson River that were formerly held by the Mohicans. The conflict caused most of the Mohicans to migrate eastward across the Hudson River into western Massachusetts and Connecticut. The Mohawks gained a near monopoly in the fur trade with the Dutch by prohibiting the nearby Algonquian-speaking tribes to the north or east from trading. Many Mohicans settled in the town of Stockbridge, Massachusetts, where they gradually became known as the Stockbridge Indians. Itao Okoam, one of their chiefs, accompanied three Mohawk chiefs on a state visit to Queen Anne and her government in England in 1710. They were popularly referred to as the Four Mohawk Kings. The Stockbridge Indians allowed Protestant missionaries, including Jonathan Edwards, to live among them. In the 18th century, many converted to Christianity while keeping certain traditions of their own. They fought on the side of the British colonists in the French and Indian War, also known as the Seven Years' War. During the American Revolution, they sided with the colonists. In the 18th century, some of the Mohicans developed strong ties with missionaries of the Moravian Church from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, who founded a mission at their village of Chicomico in Dutchess County, New York. Henry Rausch reached out to two Mohican leaders, Maumon Tisakun, also known as Shabash, and Wasamapa, who took him back to Chicomico. They named him the new religious teacher. Over time, Rausch won listeners, as the Mohicans had suffered much from disease and warfare, which had disrupted their society. Early in 1742, Shabash and two other Mohicans accompanied Rausch to Bethlehem, where he was to be ordained as a deacon. The three Mohicans were baptized on the 11th of February, 1742, in John de Turk's barn nearby at Ole, Pennsylvania. Shabash was the first Mohican of Shekomeko to adopt the Christian religion. The Moravians built a chapel for the Mohican people in 1743. They defended the Mohican against European colonists' exploitation trying to protect them against land encroachment and abuses of liquor. On a 1738 visit to New York, the Mohicans spoke to Governor Lewis Morris concerning the sale of their land near Shekomeko. The governor promised they would be paid as soon as the lands were surveyed. He suggested that for their own security, they should mark off their square mile of land they wished to keep, which the Mohicans never did. In September 1743, still under the acting governor George Clark, the land was finally surveyed by New York Assembly agents and divided into lots, a row of which ran through the Indians' reserved land. With some help from the missionaries on the 17th of October, 1743, and already under the new royal governor George Clinton, Shabash put together a petition of names of people who could attest that the land in which one of the lots was running through was theirs. Despite Shabash's appeals, 
his persistence and the missionaries' help, the Mohicans lost the case. <laughs>